we read the newspaper. Doom and gloom's coming. Mm -hmm. We just accept it. Doom and gloom doesn't have to be coming. Do you know there's always been a depression for some people? I grew up with the idea that everybody went broke in the 30s. They didn't. Some made millions. Let's ask ourselves when we read something in the paper, do I want to get emotionally involved in that idea? There's always a depression for some people and there's always good times for others. The one point that all the great teachers all down through history have all agreed on, they've been in complete unanimous agreement on it, we become what we think about. We become what we think about. Now it may be fantasy at first, it might even appear to us as being a lie. Mm -hmm. But if you read it often enough, you'll start to believe it. You'll start to believe it. I learned that the biggest part of me you'll never see. It's non-physical. And uh, what you see here in the physical body is nothing but the physical manifestation of the higher side of my personality. And what we have to study, I think, is how does this non-physical part of my mind work? Thoughts are everywhere. And we pull thoughts into our mind and we build pictures or images in our mind. What we want to understand is that's a non-physical side of ourselves that's doing that. If I can build an image of something in my mind, I'm quite capable of building a physical replica of it in my world. We become what we think about. So if I build an image of me as a happy, relaxed person, I can live like that. If I build an image of myself as being prosperous, I can live like that. So if we think rich, we will be rich. Absolutely. We're already rich, just short of money. <laughs> <laughs> Those of us that want to reach the goals that we've set for ourselves, yeah. we do it first by... Well, the first thing you do is sit down and decide what you want. If it's money you want, how much money? Lots of money. Well, nobody knows how much lots of is. Okay. So you've got to be specific. Okay. You write down on a card exactly what you want. And you carry that card around and read it often. Now, this is what I learned in this book, Think and Grow Rich, and it's what I teach in the seminars. I'll teach people how to set goals. But you decide exactly what you want. And then you start to think. Now, you're going to have thoughts come to your mind of why you can't get it. Think of how you can and not why you can't. Okay. We become what we think about. And I believe if a person will start to study that and look for the answer, they'll find it. See, I think we live simultaneously on three planes of understanding. We're okay. spiritual creatures, we have an intellect, and we live in physical bodies. But because we lack awareness or understanding of who we are, we're totally locked into a physical world and we let things outside of us control us. 95% of the population are reacting to life. They're not really living at all. Most people, they get a job, they look around and see how everybody else is doing their work and they start doing it the same way. Mm -hmm. They should stop and think, I wonder if any of these people know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> is there a better way to do it? But don't we have a need to fit in? I mean, we don't want to, we don't want to stand out, we don't want to get fired, we don't want to make waves. Uh, exactly, exactly. Just fall into line, you know, take a number, be like everybody around. <laughs> you know, that'd be great in the animal kingdom. I, but human beings aren't supposed to live that way. I think we should make a few waves. We should maybe stand out, be different. Not not for the sake of being different, okay. but because we are different. We all think different thoughts. And I believe we should start to think and build images in our mind of what we'd like to do and then set out and do it. We become what we think about. Now it may be fantasy at first, it might even appear to us as being a lie. Mm -hmm. But if you read it often enough, you'll start to believe it. And when William James said, believe in your belief will create the fact, you will see the person's personality change. I watch people in the seminars, personality change right in front of my eyes. And all they're doing is starting to see themselves different. They're starting to think different thoughts. We become what we think about. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then Turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.